In the language of the Pemon Indian tribe in Venezuela, Roraima is translated as the mother of all waters. A group of Russian biophysicists set out for this destination in January 2005 to collect a unique sample of water, which scientists say has never been in direct contact with human beings. Such water exists in only one place on Earth, in Venezuela. According to one hypothesis, a continent called Gondwana existed in the southern hemisphere during the Paleozoic era. Powerful tectonic processes occurring in the Earth's crust 3.5 million years ago split it into several parts. As a result of these changes, some segments of the continent sank, while those resting on granite substrates remained at their previous level. Elevated plateaus were formed, which the Indians called tepuis, meaning pillars. Roraima is the largest of them. It's a really remote place, very hard to get to. Three days of travel through the savanna and then the jungles. Then you climb an 800-meter wall. It takes a certain amount of enthusiasm. Therefore, we can say that the water we have there is in a unique, virgin state. There is always a large cloud over Roraima. As evening approaches, a light haze appears. When the moon comes out from behind the mountains, the mist begins to glow with an even blue light. And in that light, it is visible how fine droplets of moisture are hanging in the still air. The slightest breath of a breeze and this watery dust forms into drops. This is the origin of the rain which rushes down in countless waterfalls. So today is January 30th, water collection number 16. Then we shall pack it all up in foil. And in this form, this water will hold its energy for several days with the air of these places. Then we'll arrive in St. Petersburg and we'll calmly carry out our laboratory analysis several thousand miles away. And only then, will we be able to draw any conclusions? Professor Korotkov's laboratory has developed an instrument that can determine the energetics of water. It works on the basis of the Curlian effect. Everything that enters a strong electromagnetic field begins to emit light. The greater energy the object possesses, the brighter it shines. The water from Venezuela was compared with ordinary drinking water. We can say that this water is not double, not triple, but it is 40,000 times more active. So these are really two fundamentally different substances. And water of this type, this water, which immediately activates the body, it activates the whole system. That's why there, where the Indians, despite the deprivation in which they live, live very long lives and are very happy. They absolutely do not want civilization to come to them. 